everybody and welcome back to another episode well not another episode this is the first episode of a brand new series we're doing i hear a zombie already there's already a zombie chasing me okay i don't want to die yet i want to do my intro first at least please please game why did i have to spawn in a dark forest why all right well i, I guess that's the thing that's happening this is a large biome jeez i wonder if there's a woodland mansion somewhere zombie what are you doing this is a good idea does this benefit you long term is this a good idea for your long-term health? I didn't think so. All right, wood. We need wood. That's the first thing we always need. Basic Minecrafty things. All right, we've gone directly from the attributes SMP into this uh, little single-player server. So we're going to be doing this. This is going to be fun. All the fancy things will be happening. And I, I was going to do this in hardcore mode. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to die in two seconds and then have to restart. That's just going to be embarrassing. We've got train observers, gear shifts. Uh, train station, whatever the heck this thing is. We have all the fanciness. Ah, uh, is that an egg? I see an egg. I have an egg. Egg acquired. We did it, guys. We reached the Stone Age. We now have access to limitless technology. All right, and now our next priority is food and a place to build our house. We want to build our house somewhere. And I don't actually know if I want to build it in the dark forest, I'm going to be honest. Although it's it's not looking like I have many other options. This seems to go on for eternity in all directions. Alright, so this is a nice mountain, but there's actually a really nice mountain over there that actually has access to Azalea. So we're going to go over there, and I think we're going to build our house on top of that mountain. We're also going to get a flower. That's nice. We're going to kill this chicken as well. Not because we need to, just because it's fun. I get over there. Cows down there. Cows are delicious. Cows taste like chicken. All right, and now we engage in deforestation because I hate trees. You guys all remember that time when Mr. Beast planted like a million trees in some rainforest somewhere? Well, you know what? We're going to be doing the opposite of that. We're going to be destroying a million trees in some random rainforest. And it's going to be this rainforest, all right? No trees allowed. So we're using the create mod for this series. And that means that we have access to something called a steam engine. In other words, we have to create global warming as fast as possible. That's our objective for this series, achieve global warming. All right, we have a base of operations atop this mountain. Creeper, don't you dare come over here. I will smite you. All right, well, that's mildly terrifying. Okay, this man is really, really wanting to shoot me in the face, and I am definitely about to let it happen. I don't know where he went. Die, 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 die. Thank you, Creeper. Please don't blow me up. Thank you. Now, what do I want? I want coal. That's something we need. We need coal. That's how we're going to live. Coal is the lifeblood of Minecraft. And apparently so is zombies, because I hear a lot of those. Is there coal here? I would really appreciate it if there was some coal here. Ow. Those were my ankles, but I guess not anymore. Well, now we've begun Minecraft in the typical fashion of depleting this world of all its natural resources. Hopefully the locals won't be upset about that. All right, we have some coal. That's nice. Can we get anything else while we're down here? Iron over here. I want it. Oh, I thought that was a creeper for a second. Um, diamonds! We also have granite. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Probably throw it in some lava. Did not almost just walk off the map. I'm so good at Minecraft, guys. Can you believe it? Has anyone ever been so good at mining and crafting? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hello, my cows. My beautiful, delicious cows that will definitely be alive for more than 28 seconds after I get wheat. Uh, that, that creeper is still there. Oh, he spotted me. He appears to be somewhat angry that I'm confiscating his homeland. Well, not to worry. We will kill him soon enough. See? He's dead. Pathetic. Alright, this is an incredibly good single-player commentary. I'm starting to realize just how alone I am in this world. I, I am very alone. Very alone. That's not even a real bird, is it? That's just one of the client-side mods making a sound effect happen. The first little while of all these series is always just getting the basic resources you need to survive. Alright, now all we need is a prison. I mean, a uh, pen. Pen for all our lovely animals who love their life and don't want to commit self-die. Alright, now we have a place to confine our prisoners, and then we just need to go and collect them. But first, we have diamonds to mine. Alright, I've acquired a singular diamond. Incredible, folks. Has anyone ever- Oh, no. 
multiple diamonds. Incredible. Truly incredible. Any others? No, just the two? Well, my disappointment is immeasurable, but my day is not yet ruined because we also have lapis. Alright, that, that was an, that was a pathetic amount of lapis. That doesn't even work as placebo diamonds. Now I'm just sad. Okay, I should probably collect these cows soon. They're starting to slowly climb their ways, their way out of this pit that I've created for them. So I, that, that might be a danger to my long-term benefit of acquiring them for their milk and for their skin. But first we snooze. Yes, come with me, cows. I will lead you to your new home and hopefully not get eaten by a zombie. You might think that I'm about to feed you food, but instead I'm going to leave you in this small confined area for the rest of your lives. Hello, Mr. Cow. Do you, would you like some wheat? No. My wheat. Why do I hear a zombie villager? That's not what I want to hear right now. I want to hear good things. Like cats. Or the happy frogs. Or dying orphans. You know, good things. Alright, and just like that, we've achieved animal cruelty. What's more important right now is that we can eat their flesh. There, I came down here to get some water. There's there's a ruined portal over there. That's a ruined portal. Let's go let's go loot that. That's great. I can get all sorts of riches from that. It, it, it's also occurred to me that the whole gimmick of this series is that we have the create mod, and I haven't done anything with the create mod yet. That drowned as a trident. I would like a trident. Did you drop a trident? No, he did not. That was a waste of my time. Let's go loot that that ruined portal and the spruce forest. Okay, I don't like the general spawn location, but we have all the nice resources to have. We have like the two best wood types just laying on our front doorstep. You know, forget the mountain. I might want to live over here. That's a really nice river. Oh, this is super cool. It's like two separate, entirely separate Spruce forest biomes connected by this river. Oh, I can think of so many cool things to do with that with the create mod. All right, new change of plans. We are going to be living over there. That's a cool place to live. But first, we need to acquire vast sums of money from ancient temples. I'm really bad at solo commentaries. It's actually the reason that we're doing this series is I need to get better at make doing like solo commentaries and stuff. Because at the moment, we're just kind of sitting here. Not a lot of interesting stuff has happened, and not a lot of interesting stuff is gonna happen until I get the create mod stuff happening, so... I'm gonna have to learn how to talk like a person who knows what they're talking about. The problem being, of course, I'm not a person who knows what they're talking about, but you guys don't need to know that. I mean, look, this is a, clearly I know what I'm talking about. I have such a nice setup here. I even have a, fa a fancy table. See, with a, um... With some moss. Nice mossy table. Very fancy. I'm, I'm, you know, not even the moss. I'm going to put a chest on that table because it's just that fancy. The extra fancy chest. And that's where I stole, store all of my fancy resources. All right. So as you can see, we have moved away from the area we were in previously and are now by the river in the spruce forest that we found. Now, up until this point, we haven't really been playing around with create mod, even though it's, you know, you know the kind of focus of this entire series. So we're going to try and do that. I want to make an automatic farm with the create mods so that we don't have to worry about food. Because two golden carrots, it's only going to last us so long. So we have a mechanical harvester. And what a mechanical harvester does is supposedly we set it up on whatever the heck this thing is. A mechanical bearing. And then it spins around and collects the wheat for us. And so it automatically farms wheat. And so we need to make a mechanical bearing and a mechanical harvester. To make a mechanical bearing... You need an andrasite casing, a shaft, and a work slab. What's a shaft? Andrasite alloy, which needs andrasite and iron nuggets, all right? And an andrasite casing is just to use a piece of andrasite alloy on a stripped oak log, okay. And then the mechanical harvester, we need andrasite alloys, but we also need iron sheets. What's this? We need pressing. All right, so we need, to compre we need a mechanical press, and we need a block of iron for that. Alright, so we need a lot of andrasite and a lot of iron. So we need slime balls for this to work. That's... Alright, we're, we're gonna need to make a slime farm at some point. This is a lot of work just to make an automatic wheat farm. I was expecting this to be a lot easier. Zombie villager with a sword. That's kind of scary. Oh, hey, we got a head. Cool, there's a data pack that I'm using in this world from Vanilla Tweaks that gives me mob heads. Don't worry about it. Alright, so let's go up over here. I don't have glass, so this is gonna look really ugly. But that, that, that's okay. It doesn't need to look good. It just needs to be functional. 
We can make it look nice later, okay? For now, I just want to get things started. All right, so we have a mechanical press now. It took a while, but it's here. And the way that this works is we take a piece of iron from over here. And then if we throw a piece of iron underneath the mechanical press, it's really slow, but it comes down. And then we should get an iron sheet. After about an hour... We finally have an area where we can set up our automatic farm. Now, the plan is that all of this is going to be tilled farmland, and then this mechanical bearing is going to be coming in from the roof, and then from the mechanical bearing is going to be a bunch of oak planks glued together, mechanical harvesters spinning around to collect the resources. And now, in theory, if we can get this to spin, then all of this will begin to go around in a circle. Now, the question that I want to know is, can the water wheel spin horizontally? And do I have torches? The answer to that second one is no. I do not have torches. I am cold, alone, and afraid. Nobody is here to talk to me. I'm very depressed. But we can handle that in therapy. For today, we need to do other more important things. Our number one priority is to facilitate the automatic construction of food to go into our mouths. And then that way... We can focus on other things afterward. All right, I got some bone meal. We're gonna try this out just as a proof of concept. Here's a crop, and if it grows to full length, it gets broken and replanted, and and it's in the chest. Okay, that is perfect. Let's see, we have a sheep farm. We have a basic setup. We've got infinite food. We have whatever the heck that thing is. And now we need to think about what we want to do for our actual base now that we have the bare essentials. So with this river, I really like the idea of going down the river in a boat and you can just see all the like mechanical contraptions poking out of the sides of the river. Yeah, like I can imagine going down here and like a train or some mine carts or something comes out of the wall and then go dips back in. And there's some like some mechanical moving stuff as you go by. So I want this river to be my industrial area where I build everything that's like all the farms and stuff. But I want all the farms to look nice. The food farm and whatever the heck that abomination is, those are those don't look nice, but that's because those are very essential things, all right? I need to be able to eat in order to live, and I need to live to make YouTube videos, and I need to make YouTube videos to buy milk. It's a vicious cycle, all right? But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about... Actually, I don't know. I completely forgot what I was talking about. Was I talking about a thing? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what? I don't understand. Single player is driving me crazy. I need to talk to someone. Nah. Hello, Mr. Oswald. Welcome to my domain here. Let, let, let me give you the tour, Mr. Oswald, of my incredible, incredible land. So if you come over here, if you, one second here, if you come over here real quick. So here, Mr. Oswald, we have my chest where I keep my all of my possessions. Uh, we got some torches here, which I'm gonna keep with me just in case there's some darkness. We need to light the way. It's important to see my magnificent build. I haven't actually built anything major yet. But one day, one day, Mr. Oswald, we will build an incredible nation, uh, right over this amazing river. It's gonna be all sorts of crazy things. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Mr. Oswald, we get a, cr a train station that will come in from that side, jut out, go over the river, and then come over here. And then go back. You know, I want things to crisscross over the river and come out of the mountainside. I'm thinking we can also get something to go under, some things to go underneath the water. Since we have, I've been looking at the things. We actually make scuba diving gear. I didn't even know that was a thing. Over here, this is where I keep my, uh, what's this called? Mechanical press. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. It basically, it presses things together. And that's how I got these fancy goggles that lets me see things. It's actually powered if you come up here, Mr. Oswald. You see, there's a water wheel right here, and it powers my, um, mechanical press. I'll get used to saying that one day, but it comes here, and it actually flows out into the river as well. So it's very fancy, and it doesn't look the best, but, it, you know, it, it looks okay. It's not completely terrible. And then right over here, we have my bed, and my furnaces, and my crafting table. It's a very happy place where I do all of my fancy. This is where I spend most of my time, is sitting here contemplating my actions, and the thinking about my regrets. Oh, I know you're gonna love this one, Oswald. Look, here we have my sheep pen where I keep all of my sheep. They're gonna sit here for the rest of their lives until I get hungry and decide to eat them. But until then, they're gonna live wonderful lives in this 2x2 two two hole. Right here, this is my ominous staircase down to my food farm. I can show you my food farm if you want. Come here. So if you come down here, Mr. Oswald, here you can see my automatic food farm where it's there's a water reel up in the ceiling. 
And it's making this thing spin around, and that makes me infinite food. See, I have food right now. Just from coming down here. It's like a consolation prize. It's amazing. And then all, all you can see it? Yeah, it harvests it. It's incredible. Oh, it's so amazing. And then here, I've actually carved out this corner for you, Mr. Oswald. So you have your own little place here. While we go and build, you can look out over our land to see the incredible things that we will do. Actually, looking for. Look at us. It's me and you against the world. Best of friends. Totally not going insane. We are so happy, aren't we? This is going to be an incredible empire that the two of us are going to build. All right, so here's the plan. I want to turn this weird, like, dirt formation thingy here into a large windmill because I'm looking at the scenery here and I can turn this into a windmill and it will become, like, the main source of power for the rest of the build in this section. And then I can have some other build sitting on top of this spot here but first i want to take this weird uh, dirt thing and turn it into a windmill of some kind it looks terrible because we haven't built actually built the structure yet but you see it can't you can you a windmill there a waterfall coming down into the river and then maybe we could have like some water wheels and stuff in the waterfall and then like some structure up here where that can be like the main base all right, there's this zombie villager that just randomly spawned right next to my base. I'm, I'm trying to crap it in a boat, but I need to lure it underground somewhere where I can easily get it. Uh, here, over by the sugarcane farm. Yes, come. Closer. Mmm. Got full gold armor as well. Zombie villager with full gold armor. That is cool. Ow! You're mean. I mean, th then again, I did impale your brother and put his head in an armor stand to make me feel better about my loneliness, so... I suppose that's somewhat valid. But even so, man, I will make you regret that decision by forcing you to sell me emeralds for low, low prices. Alright, I'm mad. I I'm, I'm so mad. Look at this. I built this big fancy thing because I want to build the base of the of the windmill with uh, this cool deep slate block that they have in the create mod that looks really cool. But to do it, I need to make this fancy setup to process deep slate. And then after making this whole thing, I found out that you actually need to do it with... Alright. What are you doing? I'm trying to... I'm trying to say something. Go away. So it wasn't until after I built this whole setup to process the deep slate that I realized I need to use silk touch to get raw deep slate in order for it to work. So I got this enchantment table and now I gotta set up an entire enchanting system and get silk touch to build a, wa a windmill. Why? <laughs> okay, I was gonna do all of this in like a separate video, but screw it, I need Silk Touch and I refuse to build an- I've already built two ugly contraptions. I refuse to build an ugly windmill, okay? We, we need to go to the nether. I am not gonna build an ugly windmill. I just- I can't allow it. My ego can't take this kind of treatment. I hear a lot of very angry pigs, but I don't see any angry pigs, so I'm just gonna assume that I'm slowly going insane due to my lack of social skills, and then just kind of carry on like nothing- Oh! Is that a pig? Oh, there are the pigs. Okay, I'm not going insane quite yet. Alright, so we did it. We made the weakness potions, and we got some golden apples. So now, we are literally just waiting on these two to cure themselves. This is a lot of work for one aesthetic block. Alright, this is gonna be a long- Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Are you gonna give me a silk touch, or am I gonna stab you? Well, let's see who pulls the trigger first. I still don't know why you have two sets of eyebrows. That's not normal. Alright. You want me to turn you back into a zombie? Give me silk touch. I'm gonna leave all of this in the video so that you guys understand my suffering. Huh? All of this is staying in. I don't want potato recovery. I don't know what that is. Thing goes for aqua affinity. Well, I, I know what that is at least, but I still don't want it. I'm gonna break my iron axe before I get the enchantment I want, aren't I? No, I'm gonna get mending before I get silk touch. Watch it happen. Capacity? I don't know what that is. What's the capacity? Smite fight? No. no. Don't, don't stab. Resist the urge. Resist the urge. Smite five can be useful in this curse of vanishing. A single player world. This is very helpful. He's just giving me the same enchantments at higher levels. Come on, dude. Silk touch. <laughs> I'm gonna annoy you until you give me Silk Touch. Darkness Fight- I kinda actually really want that. But I need Silk Touch more because I need to finish this video. 
Look at that. I got it. Oh, and it's so cheap. Oh. Pleasure doing business with you, good sir. All right, so we have been very busy gathering a lot of resources lately. We have all the resources that we should need to bid to build this windmill. I forgot windmill bearings. I I, I need more actual windmill material. I, I forgot about that. All right, I can get that, but we have the resources required to build the base structure, and that's what's important. All right, so the plan is the windmill is going to be right where this cobblestone tower is. It's going to come out to the side leaning over, and then right next to the windmill, we're going to have a large water mill with a waterfall coming out from around this boulder and then spilling over the side of the cliff into the river. And so we have all the base resources to get this started, and so I was thinking we could do this in a bit of a time lapse. Alright, it has been a couple of days, but we finally did it. We have built ourselves a windmill and a water wheel. That's also something that we did. Aw, oh, look at it. It's beautiful. And, and also blends in way too much with the trees in the background in retrospect. That does not stand out at all. But you know, it's fine. It doesn't need to stand out because what it does do is generate a whole bunch of SU. Now, an SU is a thing in this mod. It's like stress units. And the idea is to use the contraptions in this mod, you need like rotational power. And so this thing, I've done the math between this giant water wheel and that spinning fan thing. We have about... Eh, 3,700 SU. So not only does this windmill look really pretty, it's also going to power our entire starter base. Uh, also, I moved the sheep to a, a little boulder over here that I made because they were just too loud sitting on top of my house. I hear a skeleton. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Please. Oswald, protect me. All right, it's gone. Oswald, yes, I need to show you this. I need to show you this, Oswald. Oswald, look at it. Look, isn't it beautiful, Oswald? I knew you'd agree with me. All right, well, this is just perfect. Look at it. So th this water wheel here, here, it's going to generate about 15,000... No, not 15,000. Uh, 1,500... Uh, yeah, SU for us, and then that one's generating 2,000 all on its own. And then we got this fancy little bridge here that we can cross. It's very pretty. I'm sure you'll like it, Oswald. Very nice. Goes over this little artificial river that comes out of this rock because I couldn't be bothered to build a, a full river. It is the windmill of power generation? Yes. It's so. So I took your. I took your feet. I'm sorry. That was unintentional. We also got this fancy door which opens sideways. What? Th this is okay. This is what confuses me more than anything. It. Eh. This hurts my brain. This hurts my brain way too much. But anyway, if we come here, this, out of this socket here, we can pull pretty much as much power as we need in order to power all the contraptions we're going to be building in our base. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I'm very good at outros and commentaries. I definitely didn't suck this episode, right? Right? Anyways, here's some end screens. You can click on this one. Play this to the attributes SMP. I should be doing that more, is promoting these end screens. And then all uh, over here, we have... I'm not actually too sure. It's just some random video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. You should watch it because I need watch hours. Bye.